Oh, Splinter Snake over here. Coming at you with another figure review. This is going to be a very, very quick one. Uh, this is of the Marvel's Spider-Man animated series 2018. Spider-Man in his costume. Because you can get two. One is like hoodie. And then this one. So, what is Marvel Spider-Man? For those of you who haven't seen it, it is a cartoon, um, which is just one season, which is basically a new retake, which is taken over from the Ultimate Spider-Man, um, and is literally just going to be um, a few episodes. I don't know if they're going to do season two. I'd like to, because like I, I kind of enjoyed it. It was pretty good. Um, it wasn't trying to be some super duper food fangle thing, which um, Ultimate was. And this is Ulmer, the, the show, obviously, not the comics. But, uh, yeah, it was pretty good. So I'd recommend watching it if you get a chance. Now, with the figure, it's not a terrible figure. <laughs> and I did have somewhat of a misconception from it. Um, I saw these on eBay for £11.99, I think it was. And I grabbed it from China. You know, good old China. And then I noticed um, it was a... Well, it's a knockoff, basically. Um, the whole series is. You can get um, both Spider-Man in his regular costumes and his hoodie costume. Gwen, um, Spider-Gwen, um, Miles Morales, uh, Arachnia, I think. I can't remember. He comes packaged in just a simple blister like this. Um, and there's only one actually kind of received it that I realised that it doesn't seem to tell or Hasbro or anything on it. Which is why I was a bit confused. Uh, look on the back and it shows you um, who else you can get. Like I said, in his uh, hoodie, spider gram black suit, Arachne, I think her name is, Miles, and 29 Um But as you can see down here, all in Chinese. So I have no idea who actually makes this. But, you know, it looks, it looks almost official, so I don't know. And it has... So I'll do one-handed. Why am I doing one-handed? Just here, um, a little Marvel hologram thingamajiggy. Which confuses me even more. But anyway, it's pretty cool. And for £12, I can't really I complain. So back to the figure. So the figure only comes with two accessories. Now it's two extra hands. In fact, it comes. this is one of his extra hands. I swapped out from his flipper hand. Um, and I'm not going to lie, these were a pain in the ass to change over. So I'm not going to be doing this on camera. Um, I originally forced it and I eventually had to get a hairdryer out to do it. So I'd recommend doing a hairdryer trick. And I really don't want to do it because my baby is asleep right now. So, um, do apologise. But it comes with a flipper hand, which is attached. This kind of semi-closed hand. And then on, on this one, he's got a fist. And then he's got an open hand, a relaxed hand. Honestly, the figure is not terrible. Um, it doesn't really blow you away with paint application, paint application. But it's got some pretty good sculpt. So, these lines are sculpted in, the spider is sculpted in, the eyes are sculpted in. But they're not sculpted on the torso, which I think is weird. So you do it on the chest, but not on the ab area. I guess so you can reuse that bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, the paint works pretty okay. Bit of slop I saw on his calf, which will come to that in a moment. But uh, yeah, I mean, it looks just like he looks up in the uh, in the show. And there's your uh, sloppiness down there. Sorry if my uh, camera keeps popping out. I'm using a different um, phone this time. Again, a bit of paint slop there. Not terrible. And again, a bit of a rub there. I don't know why they do choose to use. I don't know why they would choose to use red plastic on the torso is fundamentally all blue apart from a small stripe and then this is a sculpted spider and then sculpted lines and then the head's actually pretty clean just a weird size so for articulation for Mr Parker his head is on a ball so it can go up that much down that much and rotate 360 degrees and you get a little bit of pivot there she said ball and a disc sorry um, shoulders are on butterfly joints so you can go forward try this one if i bring it out you can go forward that much nice to bounce back and then back 
not that much, but again, likes to bounce back. So not the best in the world to be honest, almost pointless. Uh, 360 degree rotation there. If you go out that far, bicep rotation of 360 degree, double jointed elbow. And then the hands are on a ball in, is it double ball? No, it's not, it's just a peg in a ball. So you can kind of go that low, that high, down there, up there, rotate 360 degree. And they're pretty stiff so far. I'm not a massive player with this guy. It's got a nice clicky ab crunch. So you can bend that far forward and that far back. Got a waist rotation, 360 degrees. Nice. It does feel ratchety, which is good. And then he can do a spine of that. Splits of that. He's got upper thigh cut. You can rotate at the thigh. Really stiff knees. Uh, no calf rotation. Uh, no calf uh, articulation. And there's a ball that goes into the ankle, I believe. So you can get a little bit of pivot, but it's minuscule. You just basically have rotation of the foot, which is a bit frustrating for a Spider-Man. Okay, so negatives of this character. His hips are super... They're not really tight they're quite loose quite wobbly which i think is frustrating because he's got ratchets like everywhere else <laughs> okay so we're going to try and swap out the rest <sighs> that one came off nice and easy hope it's the heat of the lights <clears throat> oh did i went on really easy did not do that the other way, the other way around <clears throat> Oh, that looks small. <laughs> uh... Okay, there we go. Did that. Okay, size comparison time. The Spider-Man stands like seven and a half inches tall. There he is next to Bucky Cap. And there he is next to a P3 and Spider-Man. Okay, so that's my review. Um, honestly, would I recommend this figure? I don't know, to be honest. I think unless you're a massive fan of the series or you really want to get some extra figures for a Spider-Verse, then probably no. He doesn't really fit in with any collection. Um, he's a bit too tall. But he's an okay figure. He's not a terrible figure. He's got some good points of articulation. Um, it does feel a bit cheap. So, yeah. Uh, ultimately, it's got to be your choice. Um I wouldn't, I wouldn't go out of my way for him, that's for sure. But yeah, I hope you liked this review. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe. And stay tuned, because as I said, I'm going to try and keep doing these. I've missed this, so I will promise I will do my best to try and bring you guys some more content. And thanks for watching. See ya.